Hi there people, almost good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh, 11.30 here in Dhaka. Uh, I'll be doing a couple of videos for you. First episode, I'll do a list and second episode, I'll have a discussion. Uh, you can say morning thoughts episode, but uh, it will be related to fragrances. So let's see what you got. As you can see from title, this is going to be about signature scents. What are signature scents? A fragrance that you really like enough to wear it almost all occasion or you pick it up on, uh, you know, like special occasion. It depends like how you view it. For me, uh, something like you know that i really like you know like i really like it's not just another fragrance that i don't care for so for me my signature scent is durum intense for example okay so i i wear that on special occasion i need mood right so that's one of them uh then uh you can say current days it's uh, la malle perfume that is another signature scent but today's discussion two videos gonna be related like uh you need something on budget so previously when i used to talk about budget it would be about 20 dollars you know like 30 dollars that's a good budget nowadays uh, it's really getting expensive the fragrance game that 50 dollars is more like a budget uh, fragrance segment so uh, if you are talking about 50 dollars or less if you have to spend uh, you can try this fragrance some of them are more than 50 dollars but i'll tell you why they're here so let's go one by one and most of these are very underrated okay people don't talk about these they just talk about the latest releases first fragrance i'm going to show you is uh, Salvatore Ferragamo Aqua Essenziale and this is called Colonia okay this is the name so there are three in this line and I think uh, this is my most favorite for a reason okay so uh, this fragrance not many people uh, like not many reviewers or content creators will push this because perhaps this house doesn't give them free bottles okay this is what i understand many of the houses you see uh, they're very popular among reviewers like they you see like at least 10 or 50 reviewers 15 reviewers like showing the same fragrance at the same time they're hyping it up because they're promoting it right so sometimes you know we like to promote stuff but at the same time it has to be honest right so this house salvatore is a very very great italian house they make great shoes they make great bags i don't own any of those but very luxury uh, luxurious posh goods so this line has the aqua essenziale essenziale blue and colonia so the one smells a little bit like uh, essentially blue i think smells a bit like blood chanel and then the blue smell i think uh, uh, original essentially is uh, like blood chanel blue one is like kind of like dylan bluish and this one it's like one of the tom Ford fragrance i really forgot so this one has lavender play a little bit of an oceanic sea breeze kind of feel but there's no citrus so that's the best thing about this is very different kind of a fragrance you can definitely give it a try very long lasting and i think for summer days it's a great fragrance for professional office wear uh, aqua essenziale colonia that i leave at the far end so number 12 i'm going to show you one of my recent buys but not a new fragrance this is Daniel desire black from the desire line this is an underrated one uh, this one uh, the first one the aqua essenziale is around 45 dollars this one you can find now i think around 35 dollars previously used to be 25 now the price have gone high so $35, you get 100 ml. And I think this fragrance is a little bit underrated. This one has a little bit of a darkness, okay? So it has this added leather as far as my memory goes. And I think this fragrance is very masculine. It has some pepper. So the leather and pepper combo really works. It has some grapefruit up top. So this one, some people compare it to some uh, fragrances like Clive Christian's, okay? Uh, but it's not of that quality. But if you like spicy, peppery, masculine fragrances that have decent longevity projection is mild on this but uh, after one hour it stays pretty much within your three feet four feet but for the price this is a good signature scent you can definitely look into this not many people wear this fragrance and if maybe there is some apple accord in this as well so i think this is a good fragrance to uh, consider Daniel desire black number uh, 11 or number three from this uh, list is this one i bought recently i am absolutely loving this tommy bahama saint kitts I reviewed all three from this line. Tommy Bahama said Sale Saint Bart, and then the Martinique, that a green bottle, and this is the third one, Saint Kitts. I really wanted this and I wanted to blind buy this, and that's exactly what I did. Amazing citrusy, mouth watering citrus. When this fragrance gets compared to fragrances like I think uh, uh CK1 Summers, you know, like some of the I don't remember what they compared this to, but I think maybe Manu Fresh because it has Carambola star fruit note. Um the performance from this is not abysmal but i think it's agreeable for a fresh freshie but you need to respray like every two to three hours that's how these fragrances work amazing freshness you know you get this kind of like a soapy by the beach sandy uh, beach you know like clean 
blue waters, blue skies, sunny days. This is a perfect fragrance to wear. It takes you to a holiday mode. And I think this could be your summer signature, okay? And this fragrance, I think in USA cost only about 20 something dollars. Here we pay a bit more, 40 something bucks, okay? St. Kitts by Tommy Bahama. So let me show you a few more. Number 10, I'm going to go with this. Uh, I do apologize for the cap if you are familiar with this fragrance this cap looks different on the original bottle this is the original bottle but it's a test drive body does and then i'm borrowing the mercedes-benz cologne cap just to give it a nice look so this mercedes-benz le perfume this one is a very very class act okay very high class act when i bought this for the first time it comes with a leather pouch i had that you know i reviewed it please check it out this fragrance the presentation from mercedes is unbelievable and that time it used to be like 45 dollars now i think it's discontinued price has gone a little bit high but if you can get it here and there you know some groups just take a look someone is selling it for a good price take it you know it is sort of like the tuscan leather family with a really juicy citrus up top and it's kind of like a very playful fragrance you know it's like a tuxedo meets tuscan leather kind of a thing going on there but it has its own element as well good longevity projection again is in the uh, above average okay so mercedes benz le perfume this one the smell definitely you can uh, like this you know it has this kind of like a tamarind kind of a sourness as well very nice mercedes benz le perfume you get 125 ml with that <clears throat> next i'm going to show you back to back two fragrances kind of like a similar colored bottle you go boss just different this one i got also recent times so these fragrances people do not really show unless the reviewers are like doing this for passion or you know they just really like doing this and not commercial channel okay they will be showing you perhaps this one this line hugo by hugo boss or hugo man line amazing amazing they mostly have the green apple uh, is the signature from this line then they go different direction sometimes you have a greenery sometimes you have a more aquatic ozonic but this one adds mint and I think a little bit of a darkness at the base, like a vetiver, some cashmere. And so this one stays minty and apple at first, then it gets a little bit dark. But man, great, great fragrance. Even from this line, the red one, I love it so much. This is a great wear, especially if you're on a budget. This one will cost you now about, I think, $45, okay, under $50. So this is a good fragrance, good quality fragrance, okay. And uh, one other thing I just want to mention, if you watch my video, sometimes I notice that you say it's a synthetic trash, this and that. You have to see the price point, man. Not everybody can afford like you niche fragrances, right? So Chanel and Dior, sometimes not people's budget, right? Next, I'm going to show you a similar bottle to that. And I love this fragrance. I'm wearing this for scent of the night. Bentley for men, black edition, okay? Uh, uh -huh. This is perhaps the less lesser talked about flanker from this line because they have about six, I think. Bentley for men, men intense azure i think there is uh, the silver color bottle i forgot the name of that similar to aqua digio so i think i have the whole line also the what is this absolute yeah mainly for men absolute similar kind of bottle but different fragrance altogether so uh, from the bentley line this one you can definitely try bentley <laughs> i remember the girl now <laughs> you have seen the video like where the girl goes on the tapping on the car goes like bentley and then she goes bmw I, I i found it funny but people make fun of it but she's cute anyway so what you get from this is a little bit of violet leaves i don't know it's a weird one you know when i smell this it's it got persona okay it is somewhat similar to number six here but it has a little bit more performance than number six but i enjoy the six uh, more than this in terms of the smell so if you have uh, take how to say Givenchy, one of the fragrances which yeah let me show you uh you know you want gentlemen only i'll show you in a bit but if you like that one this is a more uh robust version of that i think this fragrance has uh some notes uh what are the notes i think uh, uh there was violet leaves yeah that is a signature from this also got in azure azure and then i think it has some rt notes from fragrantica pink pepper tangerine so it's mild spicy fruity mild dark kind of like a very nice uh scent that not everybody has it reminds me of lalik fragrances okay good fragrance if you have good budget of 40 dollars under you can get this i think now these are sold for 45 bucks in bangladesh uh bentley for men black edition now number seven i have to bring out a bold red bottle in the middle of all these dark kind of serious looking bottles and make things a little bit easier this is a nice little perfume okay mont blanc legend is a solid line i give a thumbs up for the people who started their game like back in the days, if you like Fierce, Mont Blanc Legend, you definitely love this line. Mont Blanc got some good fragrances, not a great house, but solid 
lime okay this one you get kind of like a blood orange you know got this fruity vibe red fruits a little bit of a cardamom some spices but it's a sweet fruity fresh kind of fragrance a little bit warms you up as well all year round can be wearable a good fragrance under 50 dollars budget mont blanc legend red number six i already gave it away what this is this is Givenchy gentleman only okay so this is one of the fragrance in this list just like this i think this is also discontinued okay but you see it every now and then popping up here and there not really crazy pricing usually people ask for 50 something dollars on this but if you let's say get a partial like almost full partial or a smaller bottle it will definitely be under 50 dollars why i put it ahead of bentley for men black edition because this one came out before okay one second thing is it smells so ozonic fruity that valley leaves and it's kind of like fruity very handsome for summer i wear this honestly speaking more than the bentley so this could be a signature scent Givenchy gives you quality amazing quality bottles number five let's go with the versace this is the dreamer dreamer is a fragrance okay until now versace prices have gone really high versace purum dylan blue all fresh whole all the new fragrances man eros out of people's range but like luckily for us they have the blue jeans and this one still like within reasonable budget i think this is under 40 dollars now okay so if it's more or less i don't know but versace dreamer remains a strong performer great smell it has that lavender it has the tobacco and it's a little bit of a moist feel you know like a bit wet <laughs> you know you feel you're wearing something that's like lamal but kind of like a dreamy tobacco right so this is dreamer one of their best fragrances get it before they discontinue this amazing powerful fragrance dreamer number four sorry number five number four let me show you a nice little perfume from uh alfred dunhill this is i think alfred dunhill's uh, uh custom okay dunhill custom take a look at the bottle and the juice color okay it reminds you of dolce and gabbana the one right yes it is similar to that and it is maybe uh daniel's version of dolce and gabbana i don't know which one came out before this or that but this is a really really nice fragrance only problem with that fragrance is you need to reapply every two to three hours but man if you can find that bottle this is one of the nicest looking bottles in my collection very very gorgeous and you can take out this uh this part and you can actually engrave your name if you buy it from uh, daniel really nice ambery sweetness to it a little bit of sophistication and i think maybe some fruit uh like punch with it but it has some leather daniel does that a lot so definitely great fragrance if you talk about signature scent amazing fragrance so <clears throat> uh daniel's i think it's called custom <clears throat> number three okay so when i was talking about i have a one fragrance which is more than uh, way more than 50 dollars it's around 80 dollars 85 dollars in uk but these are 200 ml bottles if you see the value of 100 ml this comes to somewhat like 40 dollars this is one of those lines from rasasi Wart noir take a look at the juice color this is a massive bottle okay next to the dunhill just double size of it so you get excellent price point for 200 ml you get excellent juice bottle magnetic cap this someone told me it's something like rasasi's darish okay you see some <laughs> sometimes you see some rasasi fragrances smell like each other but this line is pure quality man this fragrance is unisex it's sweet i think it got some uh, violet uh, not violet some like what is that flower uh really nice florals um man i forgot that floral note but it has kind of like a lavender uh, floral uh, dreamy kind of a dry down and really really good performance as well ward noir definitely could be a signature scent it is uh, superior quality to shura or darish okay but if you like those kind of fragrances check it out it is kind of like valentino v okay but on a very smooth uh, like a formulation with excellent packaging so now number two and number one both masculine fragrances and upper class for me lanstin de guerlain uh, edt purum this one is a new version i don't think this bottle is now available now they're making the square bottles but this is the second or third generation third generation of liege uh, liege last and Guerlain, edt or extreme you cannot find those anymore forget about them three four five hundred bucks don't do that this thing i think you can find about 50 something dollars for a partial or someone selling it personally i bought this i remember about 40 something dollars under 50 dollars. that's why this is here cacao Kind of like a masculine dolce and gabbana type of fragrance you know um you can say durum intense also falls in this category but it's less sweet okay it's a little bit serious okay so i think this could be a signature scent worthy fragrance 
perfect for office perfect okay this is high up in the order this is very masculine perfume and i think it's more mature version of diorom intense okay so there you go so number one i finish with this perfume from house of boucheron jaipur okay love of my life man i love this one i love the adp but i think this is my vintage bottle very first batch so what's so great about boucheron boucheron they make jewelry and they make some amazing amazing fragrance bottles as well this is like a temple right indian temple the smell of this is oriental spicy um, it's very simple fragrance it's kind of like dry down kind of like pure malt but more spicy uh, no sweetness and the spices in this and this little bit of a lemon up top really will enhance your mood and it lasts about eight to ten hours okay take a look at this fragrance this nowadays is 75 bucks but if you buy a partial or a smaller bottle it will be under 50 dollars i just try to suggest some quality fragrances here some of them may not seem like quality to you but for the price ratio you cannot go wrong so do let me know which ones are your favorite do suggest some good ones that i haven't reviewed or other people need to know that will be helpful have a nice day. thanks for watching see you soon Bye bye